Pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV. We are located here in Fetcher, Colorado. Today, as you guys can see behind me, we're gonna take a walk around this 2022 Ram 5500 trim level limited. As you guys can see, it does have that hauler body. So we call it the Ram 5500 hauler. This conversion was made by Utility Body Works. We're gonna go over some of the features some of the upgrades and some of the things you guys wish and hope it has and of course we'll point all those out as we go around this unit so again guys this is a bright white exterior ram 5500 2022 so there's a few upgrades with this particular year model front grill here we got that two-tone front grill this one does come equipped with a 360 camera so right underneath the A for the RAM, we have one of the four cameras that will create that view. This one does come equipped with front and rear sensors, LED headlights and fog lights. And of course, what everybody likes to see is the engine. Now as we take a closer look here, what you guys are looking at is a 6.7 liter L6 Cummins engine. And it's also partnered with the six-speed automatic Iason transmission. Uh, this unit produces about 360 horsepower and about 800 foot-pounds of torque. Again, when it comes to Dodge Ram, there's two ways of differentiating what type of transmission this unit have. And facing the engine, if the dipstick is on the right side, like I said, facing the engine, if it's on the right side of the engine, it is the Aston transmission, and if it's on the left side, it's the regular Ram six-speed uh, transmission. This unit was bought right here, brand new, oh, well, from our Dodge store in Lyman, brand new. Previous owner decided he wants to upgrade to a more fancier, flashier truck, so he's going all out with the next build he's doing. So this one only has about 10,000 miles on it. So still has all its warranty, still in great shape. Didn't use it much at all. So this unit is as new as it could be right now. Again, we mentioned the 5500. So you have that stamp up here, heavy duty. The Cummins badge, turbo diesel engine. And of course, like I said, it is a Ram Limited. So one thing I want to mention up front here, as you guys could see, as we get a little bit closer, this one does come equipped with front and rear air suspension. So that gives this truck a really good drive. The tires on here, straight from the factory, 22570 oh, R19.5s. So like I said, front and rear sensors, front and rear sus air suspension. This one does come with uh, fixed running boards. Again, I did mention there's four cameras that will create that 360 view. Underneath those tow mirrors, we'll have one of those cameras on either side. The tow mirrors, as needed, you could tilt it. And as we open up, you guys could see that awesome interior. We got that tan and black interior. With that being said, this one is a touch push to start. So foot on the brake, tap that push to start button. Vehicle is now running. We're taking a look right now, a closer look at the interior. This one does come with adjustable pedals manually adjust, tilt for your steering wheel, all your light controls up here. And up here right now, this is to turn the air on for our air suspension. And of course, this is to dump the rear air on your suspension. And I'm gonna do that again while our cameraman goes to the back of this truck 
So one of the good things about having the air suspension on the back end, typically almost identical to our Freightliner haulers, it has that red dump. So when you're backing into your trailer, you can release that air in the back. It will actually bring the bed of the truck a little bit lower so you don't have to jack up your, tra your trailers too much. So that will give you enough height to back into your trailer, lock and load. Once that is done, you're gonna turn the air back on and then the bed of the truck will automatically adjust. Pretty awesome. Let's take a look at the back seat. It is a crew cab, so you got tons of leg room here. And when it comes to the Limited, all the functions for the back, we got tons of charging and heated seats. So we could take a closer look at those, that center console. It does have air vents here for your AC and heat. The back seats are heated. And of course, for your passengers, you have tons of charging. When you leave those seats up, you got storage underneath the seats, just on this one side. And on this other side, you have your sub and amplifier built in. I had a customer yesterday asking what's the purpose of this piece right here. This is actually a level board. So if you want to store your luggage, personal items, groceries, whatever the case may be, and you need a flat surface, once you get all that undone and you open it up, well, this seat needs to be a little bit further out, but you create this flat surface in the back. Very easy to close. And of course, seats back to normal. Let's talk about the bed of the truck. We got tons of storage. So first we look at that front storage box. Nice and spacious. And it does have a connecting area where you have easier access up here in the bed of the truck to access that pass-through storage. In here, let me just close this up. In here we have the gauge here for our Hensley trailer saver hitch. So this will add the air to that to the airbags on that fifth wheel hitch it will decrease the air and it will increase the air as needed this hitch does have the option of switching to a gooseneck ball so there is a pin right dead center of this that will take that fifth wheel plate off and add that gooseneck ball piece on top and then it will allow you to switch between it's not a super easy process. I mean, you have to have the right bolt to unscrew the fifth wheel hitch and to add the gooseneck ball. So about a 20 minute process. Again, we got more storage up here. You got a few RAM goodies up here. This does come with storage lights. We got two tanks. We have a 52 gallon and a 22 gallon diesel tank. So in total, you have 74 gallons of diesel. Your dev tank is located here as well. And believe it or not, when you purchase this unit, you will get 75 gal 74 gallons of diesel on purchase. Back storage, smaller storage box, but tons of, tons of space. Again, you have the rear sensors. And one thing I've noticed right now, we had this truck running, and because of its settings, if it's running for more than 10 minutes, it will automatically shut off to preserve the environment. So right now, this, this uh, truck is on uh, pause right now. I don't know <laughs> the right way to explain it, but it's the same way you have a remote start when you remote start your vehicle. 
and it runs for 10 to 15 minutes, it will automatically shut off to, again, preserve the environment. It's the same thing if you start the vehicle regularly and you just, nobody is inside of it, and of course it just keeps running for more than 10 minutes, it will automatically shut off as well. So we do have a backup camera down here that will give you a great view backing into your trailer. We also have a camera dead center between the headache rack and it will give you direct vision to uh, when you're backing into your trailer. Because of everything going on underneath this bed, we didn't have space for a spare tire. So we created a space on top of the bed, which you could lock this in so nobody could steal your tire. Right now, we just have a pin here to just keep it in place. So your spare tire is located on top here. You still have tons of room to go into your trailer, but if in case you don't feel comfortable, this is very easy to remove. And once you back into your trailer, you could automatically, you could, you know, once you're done, either you put that spare tire in your trailer if you feel more comfortable that way, or you could put it back on the bed and it will not be in your way. We got tie downs on all four corners of this truck. The same amount of storage space on this side. And it is dual tires, dual wheels in the back. So it's the same size as the front. And of course you have your airbags for your rear air suspension and for your rear air dump. Similar to our previous haulers, you get a step on either side of the bed to go in and out or to access your trailer or whatever items you'll put in the back of the truck. Let's jump inside. There's a few cool features I would love to point out. But before we go in, you guys will see we have the all-weather tech, well, no weather tech, but all-weather <laughs> mats, uh, Dodge. Dodge mats, very easy to clean, very easy to, to use. Now as we come up front here, so it's called an extended idle shutdown complete. So that's what it's all about. And once you come back in, you could actually start it. So let's start on the steering wheel. We got cruise control. You got your toggle switch through to, for your dash. You do have volume controls on the right side of the steering wheel and track controls on the left side of the steering wheel. Your push to start button is located right here. Coming down all your four by four options, two wheel drive, four high and four low. We do have a great Herman sound system, really great sound. We got this huge screen, which a lot of people love on those newer Rams. This one does come equipped with navigation, as you guys can see right now. With your media, you have FM, AM, and satellite radio. You also have Bluetooth. This one is also hooked up to my cell phone wireless via Bluetooth, so I do have or this one does come equipped with wireless Apple and Android capability. So right now, my phone is not hooked up through a wire, it's hooked up via Bluetooth, and I have Apple Play. <laughs> wireless Apple Play, so that's a cool feature to have, especially when you have wireless charging on a unit like this. You don't have to have a plug every single time coming in to access your Android or Apple capability. So. You have your wireless pad right here, charging pad. You have another pad here that just to secure your phone for your passenger if they need charging. So you have two options here for USB charging. And down here, we got a 110 plug-in. Same features we have in the back. We got a big storage area here with this section that can be rolled back or forward. You could actually close all those up 
we got a nice little storage box with a USB plug in here and of course more access to the back end of this storage it is limited so you got a limited stamp up here you got cup holders over here you got cup holders in here as well more storage over here your glove compartment with all your manuals everything is still brand new never been opened like I said this vehicle has 10,706 miles this one does come equipped with Uconnect so you could get assistance by tapping the assistance switch or if, you, if it's an emergency you have your SOS switch right here again with Uconnect is the same as OnStar and all the different uh, service providers out here for vehicles you could remote start your vehicle from the app you could check your location if your vehicle is stolen you could call emergency personnel on an accident and it will catch your location and send the right emergency personnel to your location as needed again with Apple and Android capability your phone could be on your person in your purse or on the wireless charger and everything located right here on, on the screen when it comes to your vehicle options you could dim your mirrors you could check your cameras so let me check my left camera so everything is clearly labeled here my right camera my surround and a cargo camera so I heard we have a question yep. What's the price? so we can say price online so if you guys want to call me right after this video I will be able to give you guys the price of this unit so I'll give you my number now 303-684-3412 cell number 661-755-4344 so you could wait until I'm done with this video and give me a call um, and I will discuss price with you guys. This is not a commercial video. This is more of a learning experience, knowing exactly what we have in stock, what it comes with. So once I'm done with this video, I'll be able to get in contact with you or you will contact me in the next five to 10 minutes and then I will talk price with you. Thanks for the question. Uh, so you do have your trailer guidance as well. And of course, trailers around, but you have to connect the vehicle, um, your trailer to that for that to be available. Again, great screen, great sound, so many different options. Heated seats, cool seats. This one does come with the six auxiliary switches. So if you decide to put a light bar, uh, auxiliary tank with electronical switches, you have six auxiliary switches for that. You could clearly label those as needed. And then, of course, if you need extra switches in your vehicle you have six to to start with instead of having aftermarket switches on this vehicle when it comes to the rear view mirror this one does have the camera view as well so you could either drive this way or if you want to do the old-fashioned way with just the mirror you have that option here so super cool feature the only thing this unit doesn't have is a sunroof but a lot of people don't care about sunroof so if that's your preference not having a sunroof in a fully loaded vehicle feel free to give me a call and then we'll talk numbers we'll talk finance options we'll talk delivery options and of course if in case you just want to come in look at it test drive it it is a cool unit to drive especially with the front and rear air suspension so thank you guys for tuning in today this has been our 2022 ram 5500 hauler with the limited trim built by Transwest through uh, Utility Body Works. So if you guys are interested, give me a call today and then we'll go from there. In the meantime, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another video. It will be Friday, so hope you guys have a great weekend if you guys don't tune in tomorrow. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Thank you.